What's going on? Today, basically making a video, man, about a um, question I get a lot of you guys. The premise usually is the Christian life. It's almost impossible to live where you feel discouraged about living a Christian life. Uh, and I'm here to tell you, man, one of the stories, like a parable that was told to me when I first uh, got on the track to uh, following God and following His the scriptures, His commandments, and just deciding in my heart that I'm definitely going to follow Him for the rest of my life. I was being discipled by a guy, um, was Mr. Redding, and uh, basically helped lay some of the foundations of my faith, giving me some basic scriptures about the Christian life, what the Christian life teaches, and um, told me the story. I'm going to tell you the same thing, and once you get the whole thing, you'll see exactly what uh, the Bible says, what, 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 how, how to live this life successfully. Um, the story goes like this. There was a man... I was going from village to village. He had two dogs. Uh, they were fighting dogs. And basically he would pit the dogs against each other. And he would take bets in every village he would go to. And basically, um, he was going to this village here. And um, one dog was very aggressive. You know, was uh, growled a lot. Was very uh, just mean. And, uh, you know, it was a crazy dog. The other dog was a very calm dog, pranced around, was very, um, you know, nice, easy to pet, not aggressive at all. So, he goes to this village, pits the dogs against each other, he starts taking bets. The people see the mean dog and they say, well, surely that mean dog is going gonna, is gonna to win, because that's the most aggressive dog. He pits the dogs against each other, lo and behold, the calm, sweet dog wins. He takes all the money. Next town they go down. Again, he pits the dogs against each other. And uh, word got to this town from the other town that the calm dog was actually the one to win. Is the one to bet on. So the people in this village got word and they said, we're going to put our money on the calm dog this time because he's actually the one to win. The man pits the dogs together. Lo and behold, this time, the mean dog wins. Again, he takes all the money, goes to the next town. As he's going, one of the people stopped him and said, How do you know which dog was going to win? You're obviously, you know. And the man, as he was counting his money, stopped and looked at the guy and said, Whatever dog I know I want to win is the one that I feed. The one I want to lose, I starve. If I want the mean dog to win, I feed him. I starve the calm one. And vice versa. You know, the Christian life is exactly the same way. When we're born again, we have two natures within us. If you're not saved, you've only got one nature. It's a sin nature. But if you've been born again, you're saved. You've got the nature of the old man, the sinful nature, and the new spirit, the new nature. They can only be given us through the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you feed that old nature, the old movies, the old friends, the old girlfriends, the old music, the old books, whatever. The old, the old atmosphere. You feed that old nature, guess what? He's going to win. You feed the new nature with gospel music, with Bible reading church going, surround yourself around other like-minded believers, guess what? That new nature is going to win. Whichever one we starve is the one that's going to lose. The Bible says the spirit and the flesh cannot go together. It cannot. One has got to be winning. One. If you want to stop cursing? Stop watching movies that have all the cursing. Stop listening to music that have all the cursing. Stop hanging around friends that have all the cursing. Take a stand. Say, look, I'm not all for that foolishness. Can we keep the conversation clean? They may look, look, look at you like you're stupid, but what matters to you? The relationship with God or the relationship with your friends? You say, I can't have, stop having sex 
I can't stop uh, have to stop having sex. I'm not married. Fornicating. Are you gonna stop looking at pornography? Stop looking at those, you know, fast videos with all the girls booty shaking and everything else like that. Who are you feeding? What kind of music do you listen to? Is it all that hardcore rap, rock and roll that talks about all the things of the world? The movies you watch, you like the old Scarface movies, still enjoy those? They still, those are your main movies that you're looking at? Who are you feeding today? That'll tell you right then why you are successful or why you're not successful. Who are you feeding today?